Hey, how's everybody doing today? Uh, my name's Sean. I want to welcome everybody to my channel. Um, I'm just going to do a video here uh, and show you guys how to uh, paint wheels. This is going to be my first attempt. I've never done this before. I've done hubcaps before, but I've never actually done wheels before. Um, I don't think it's going to be that hard, to be quite honest with you. Uh, these wheels are pretty beat up on this car. Um, this is actually my own personal vehicle. Um, this is my wife's car. And um, it's getting old. So over the years, you know, the wheels have started to slowly deteriorate. This one doesn't look too bad, but it's dirty as hell. But as you can see on this one here, you can see the corrosion is starting to lift through front here. So I'm really kind of getting sick of it. Um, this wheel had a frozen lug nut here, so I just got done. That's what you'll see the puddle on the floor. I just got done unfreezing that. So it's all unfrozen. So the lugs are all loose. I already jacked up the front end and put it on stands. I'm going to um, get ready to jack up the, the rear end, put that on stands, take the wheels off, and go from there. I'll show you guys the wheels. This one's really in bad shape, as you can see. Look, you can see there's a lot of it just chipping away. It's starting to flake. Look at that. It just flakes right off. So, you know, I want to take care of all this. I'm getting tired of it. The inside of this one's really bad, so I'm hoping I don't have to go and buy any more paint. I may have to. I have three cans. I don't know how bad the insides are on the rest of them. I can only really see on the inside of this one. Um, so I'm probably going to end up having to do this whole entire wheel in and out to make it look a lot better. But um, it is what it is, whatever it takes. Wow, it's really starting to get bad there, starting to bubble big time. So see, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's all flaking away. So uh, this wheel's pretty bad too. So like I said, there's like one wheel that's not that bad. So I'm not going to take the tires off, of course. But um, we'll go ahead and we'll clean all this stuff up and um, we'll see what we come out with so I'll get back with you guys once I get the wheels off I'll start to clean them I'll show you that process and uh, yeah we'll go through it all so I'll see you guys in a little bit okay I have the wheels off the car and the center caps punched out but before I wash them I just wanted to show you what I do is I not only stagger them in the way that they were taken off the car so basically this is the driver front driver rear but for safety precautions, I take chalk and I mark all the tires on the back, DF for driver front, you know what I mean? Um, then I'll do the, uh, the the same for all four tires I put for the, the rear passenger, uh, the rear driver, you know what I mean? So I'll mark all the tires with a piece of chalk. It'll wash off, so it's no big deal. And even if it washes off at this point while I'm washing them, they're staggered in the way that they were taken off the vehicle so I can remark them again when they're dry so I just wanted to show you that real quick um, I'm gonna get ready to fire up the pressure washer and give these wheels a clean I have some wheel cleaner here shake it up I got some brushes so I can brush everything all down so let me just get ready to fire this up and we'll get it going put the tip in um, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna use the medium tip I don't care if it eats some of the wheel off because of the simple fact that it's all chipping anyway, so who cares? We're gonna end up taking it all off anyway, so. All right, so here we go, let me fire this up. If it wants to.
clip them to the inside. So as you can see, they're pretty bad too. Like I said, the chalk would probably wash off, which it did. There a little bit, but oh, there's still a little bit there. You can still see it faintly, but it'll probably wash off, which is no big deal. We'll do the same thing on the inside now. that's that the wheels are all cleaned down now so now we got to dry them all I'll remark them and then we'll get ready to start uh, the uh, sanding process so I'll see you guys in a little while okay I already did one wheel I sanded it to check it out see what it was gonna do um, it didn't have as bad a rust on it as this one does but we'll see what ends up happening uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off 100 grit sandpaper on my palm sander and I will Sand it like so. Okay, and I'm just going to give you guys just a kind of an example. I'm not going to go and sand the whole rim right here with you. I'm just going to show you, kind of rough it up a little bit with 100. It seems to be working pretty good, taking off that rust, flaking it down pretty good. Okay, so. After I'm done with the 100, then I'm going to hit it with um, some 120 grit, and then I'm going to hit it with some 220 grit, and then that'll be it. That'll all be done, and then I'll do both sides, in and out, and uh, I'll clean it all off. So I'll be back on that process to show you guys cleaning it all off. So I'm going to continue sanding. I'll see you guys soon.
Okay, I have sanded down the wheel. I did the face and I did do the inside. So the insides have been all done too. Um, I first used um, 100 grit on the palm sander and then I summed it up with 220 grit to smooth it all down. I didn't go crazy with getting every single last bit of paint off. I just really wanted to get all that rust off, all the big bulks of rust that were on there. I wanted to smooth all that out, which I did. Um, I'm still going to prime it, and I am going to paint them still anyway. So, But that's what we got after the sand. Um, so I'm going to continue to do the other two wheels because I have two done now. So I'm going to continue to do the other two wheels, and when I'm done with those two, um, I'll come back, and we will go ahead and put on the primer. We'll start priming. Well, we'll tape it first, of course. We got to tape, but we'll we'll tape the wheels all up, clean everything down, um, and we'll get ready to do our primer on the wheels. And then once that's all finished, then we'll get ready to paint. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to spray them down with a little bit of uh, denatured alcohol. I got it in a spray bottle here, so I'm just going to spray it here onto the wheels. And uh, I'm going to give them a good wipe before we go ahead and prime these. So this wheel wasn't so bad. This was like the best wheel on the whole car. Um, it just had a little bit of rust going on in these areas. And it wasn't too bad. So this one, we just kind of scuffed up a little bit. Um, but the rest of the wheels, I sanded them down pretty good. I got a lot of the paint off of them. Um, there's a tiny bit on some of them still. But uh, I got all the rust off and that's what really counts. So, after I get this all done, I'll go around and I'll continue to do all four rims. And when I get them all done, I am going to, uh, I'll come back and we'll tape one up. And we'll start doing that process. And then we'll get ready to start priming and painting. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so basically what I did now at this point was I cleaned the whole rim. I got it cleaned on the inside and the outside with the denatured alcohol. Um, and I went around with little pieces of tape, as you can see, and I left them lip up. So what I did was I took a garbage bag and I laid the wheel in the garbage bag. And of course the front part is on the front. But what I did was I took the bag and I held it up and I cut it, cut the bottom out with a pair of scissors so that I kind of have this. So now it's open on both sides. So now what I can do now is I can come up and I can start taping my bags underneath, like so. So what I want to do is I want to lift this up a little bit. And I'm going to start sticking the bag down as far as I can get it. And then I'll start pressing down tape. I won't go all the way down because I know there's more bag up here that's still got to go. So, and this is what I'll do. And I'll go all the way around the wheel. And I'll keep doing this, making sure this is all covered. And then I'll do the same on the other side. So that's how I do that. Um, I'll be back when I get ready to prime and paint. See you soon. Okay, the tape seemed to work fine here on the back. As you can see, I got it all taped up. Uh, but the front, it did not work so well with all the years of all the tire dressings. No matter what I did, I put the denatured alcohol on it and everything. The tape would not stick. So I've opted out to use the index cards on the front. So I'll go around and I'll place index cards all the way around so that way it gives me some protection from any of the paint getting on. But right now what we're going to do before I get into any of that is I'm going to shake up the primer and I'm going to get ready to prime the inside of these wheels. So I'm just going to do a quickie on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a little bit. There we go. I'll do a quickie on the interior here of this wheel and get this all primed up and get it ready for paint.
So I'm just gonna go around, I'm gonna prime this all up on the inside, and I'll get back with you guys when I'm all done, and we'll get ready to do the paint on it. I'll see you in a few. Okay, so I got two rims here. I got them both uh, primered. One is taped, the other one is done with the index cards. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I did them both. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I really do prefer using the index cards. I think it's a lot easier than doing the tape. The tape was kind of a pain in the ass. So my suggestion to you guys, as far as tips go, go with the index cards. It's much easier to do. They're not that expensive. They cost me like uh, 49 cents a pack. And there's a bunch in a pack. You could probably get more than a wheel with a pack, you know, front and back. So, all right, so basically what I'm gonna do now is I've waited, uh, I did two coats of primer on the backs of these. And like I said, I'm just doing the backs right now. So I don't really particularly care if they come out perfect on the insides. Um, I'm just doing them because they were really in bad shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to end up using the wheel paint. I have the Duplicolor uh, high performance wheel coating and uh, I'm gonna shake it up, which I've been doing already since I've been talking to you. And I'm gonna get ready to lay it down. Um, I'm gonna lay three coats of this down uh, lightly. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda start off spraying it there on the, and Give it a light mist and we're going to do this we'll go around and we're going to do three coats all the way around three nice light coats like this and uh hopefully it covers really nice we'll see what it looks like Okay, so here's the first coat. Come over here and do this one now. Already looks a lot better. I can already tell you that right now. Looks a lot better than what it looked like before I started. With all that peeling and everything, that was really bad. So there's the first coat. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and I'm gonna come back and I'll do another coat. So I'll see you guys on the next coat. See you soon. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get ready to do the next coat. Okay. Tell you, as I'm doing this, I can actually see these things coming back to life. Oh, they look so much better already. <laughs> There's hardly any paint on them yet. Just have them sanded and to look like this, they really just look a lot better already. Alright, so that's coat number two on that one. Look how much better they look already, really, seriously. So much better.
and there we go coat number two on that one like i said they are looking so much better already so okay i got about 10 more minutes to go here again and we'll be back for coat number three okay so once again it's been about 10 minutes i'm gonna get ready to hit these with their last coat the third and final coat so spray out and this one i'm gonna try to make sure i got all good even coverage everywhere so if i have to go over a few times i will like so and um like I said, the insides of these don't have to be perfect. I, I don't care really what the insides look like, to be quite honest with you. I'm more concerned with the face of the wheel. So I'm really hoping and praying that the face of the wheel comes out really, really good, which I believe it will. This paint really seems to be doing a really nice job. I'm really impressed with it. So for any of you guys that are really looking into buying this and you're not sure about buying the Duplicolor, really good stuff i like it so far we'll see how it looks on the front face of the wheel but for the inside of the wheel i think it looks great let's get up here on that lip get around in here a little bit and that'll do it on that one and we'll do the same on this. But I mean, you can already see a major difference here, night and day, from what it looked like when I first started. I mean, these rims really look nice. They're really coming out good on the inside, so I'm pleased. So if you notice, I'm walking around the rim so I can get into the areas. I'm not trying to just spray around this way because I want to make sure that I get pretty good even coverage. And sometimes there's certain angles that you can't get at. If you just go around the wheel one way. So, oops, just fix that real quick. That was kind of dumb to do, but there we go. Got that fixed. No big deal. So that's that. I'm going to wait 10 minutes again. And we'll get ready to flip them and do the face. So I will return soon. Okay, so I waited about a half an hour after the third coat to let them dry. Um, the can said to wait about half an hour, and they said to be totally manageable. Um, I felt them, and look, they, they really are. You can You could pick these up. There's nothing coming off. They're not wet or tacky anywhere. Um, you could put the clear on them if you were just, let's per se, doing the face. Um, you can get ready to do the clear, but I'm gonna flip them over now and I am going to do the face. So, um, I'm glad that they're all nice and dry. So I'm not gonna tape this one. I'm gonna do the index cards with this one because I did not like that, that tape method on the back. So I'm just gonna kind of pull this down. I'll leave the tape on because we're gonna have to put the clear on anyway. So I'm going to uh, give you some index cards here. And I'm gonna go around. And this is what I did with the index cards. It's got one of those little plastic pieces on it, so I'll just kind of avoid that for a second here, like so. The little piece of rubber, there we go. All right, so this is what I did. I just went around just like this. And like I said, these things are cheap enough. They're like 49 cents a pack at the store. Um, and I'm sure you can find them even cheaper if you shop around. Um, you know, uh, I saw people using um, playing cards. I guess if you got a lot of them laying around or whatever. But like I said, the pack is huge, so there's enough to do, quite a few. So, you know, and I, I think this method was a lot easier. And I liked it better than doing the tape. Because I just think it worked a lot better. So, you'll just overlap them like so. And, you know, like I said, look how quick that goes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, compared to the tape, the tape in the bag, you know, you got to get the tape down in and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, I don't know. To me, it just took a little bit more time and they wouldn't stick anyway on the front. I've cleaned the wheels 
I recleaned the wheels. I even took the denatured alcohol and wiped down the wheels. I mean, I was like going crazy with this. And I'm like, you know, why isn't it working? Well, it wasn't working because there's been so much, whoops, dressing put on in the past that, um, you know, it just, it didn't work. So it just wouldn't stick. So, here we go. Let me just go back around here. So that was kind of my error there. I didn't get that down in good enough on the last... I think there's a piece of rubber there. That's what I think the problem is. So let me just. All right. So like I said, having an issue right there with that one spot. I don't know what it is. I might end up having to put a piece of tape there to hold it so it doesn't go anywhere. I think it's just the way that the wheel is. The way that the tire is holding on. So I might have to actually put a piece of tape to hold these on into place. So I'll figure that out. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this, and I'll get the rest of this around, and we'll be back for the primer on the front. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, so now we're going to do the face of the wheel. Got the primer here. I'm going to do my two coats of primer. Hopefully the wind, of course, blows and takes that down. This is not going to be very easy here. All right, so... Let me reset all this and we'll start over. Okay, so I had to move spots. Uh, it was a little windy over there, so I was having issues with the cards flying off. So I moved in the shop. I taped everything all up around the business or around the index cards to hold them a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start laying the primer on the face of this wheel here. So As you can see, I'm just going to do light coats. It says on the can to do two light coats, so I'm just going to follow the instructions. I didn't go too crazy with the back, and uh, they really came out well, so pleased with the way they came out. Try to get inside here a little bit, so I'll spin around a little. So there's the first coat. I'll wait 10 minutes and I'll come back and do the other. I'm gonna start setting this wheel up anyway for, for the prime. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Okay, it's been just about 10 minutes here. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and start putting the light coat on this first set here. As you can see, they're all primed up. I did two coats of prime on there. Um, and now I'm ready to go ahead and do my three coats of paint. I'm just going to mist these lightly, like I did the backs. I don't have to walk around, of course, because I don't really want to miss. Any areas, of course. There's my first coat on that wheel. You know what? I don't like the way it looks here, so let me just spray a little more here. Like I said, that's why you just got to walk around them and just take a look, because, you don't know, you might have missed an area, and you don't want to miss anything, you know? So I'll tell you, these things are already going to look a lot better. A lot better. So we'll start with this wheel now. I should have did this a long time ago. But I was kind of leery on it. 
like I said, I've never done this before. And in a way, I'm kind of glad that I kind of waited a little bit because this time I did a little bit more research on it and that's when I found this Duplicolor. And uh, I like the way this Duplicolor actually really works. It works nice. It's totally designed for the wheel, so that's what the nice part is. Alright, just walk around it a little bit and take a look and make sure I'm happy with that. This side seems fine. Let's take a look around here. Yep. Looks good to me. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry 10 minutes and be back for coat number two. See you guys in 10. Alright, that first coat is cured. It's been 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and start spraying down the second. here So much better they're already starting to look we still got one more coat to go they're already looking beautiful all right let's grab on this one here and start doing the same And I gotta admit, I didn't even think they were gonna come out this good. <laughs> Bigger since I was doing it myself, you know. They would just look alright, you know. And I'd be happy with it, but they came out a lot better than I even imagined. Okay. Let's go around here and check some areas here and see, like see in here. Alrighty, wait 10, one more coat, okay, spin 10 again, time for that third and final coat, so here we go.
coat I'm kind of putting on a little bit heavier just because I know it's the last coat and I want to make sure that I got everything covered so it's going a little bit heavier it's not gonna hurt anything as long as I don't put it too close or gob too much on and get runs we'll be fine at it and see how it looks yeah I like it looks good looks really good really does got to admit very happy with it Can imagine what it's gonna look like once it's all dry and the clear is on Move on to this one we're going to get another can of paint in a minute can has just about had it. Getting towards the bottom here. Get another can of paint. Oh, they're right here. Where did I put them? Good shake up. Let's get this cap off first of all. Hit a little bit right there. I don't like the way that looks. There we go. All right, now back to this one. Yeah, that one looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry for 10 and we'll come back and take a look at the dried up product and we'll get ready to put on the clear. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so the wheels are all painted and dried. Did three coats. I'm gonna get ready to do a coat of clear. It came out good, I'm really impressed. So the clear is applied the same way that the paint was. I say to do to allow the 10 minutes in between each coat to dry so no problem so we'll do it the same way that we did the, the paint itself clear on that one and let's do it on this one
All righty, there's that. I'm gonna wait the 10 and I'll see you guys for the second coat. All right, once again, time for coat number two. So here we go. And there we go. So that's the second coat of clear. We'll come back, do one more. Ten minutes. See you soon. Okay. It's been about ten minutes. Put on my last coat. So there's a third and final coat going on now. Try to get good coverage on this coat. Under this wheel now. Alrighty, that's that. 
that's the last coat. Let that dry, then we'll flip them over. We'll do the insides, and uh, these two wheels will be done. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, the wheels are all back on the car, as you can see. They're painted, they look a hell of a lot better. They're a little wet. I just got done washing the car, so it's a little bit of water running down them, but they held up to uh, the water in the pressure washer without a problem. I let them dry overnight, so it was yesterday when I painted them, so put them on today, put the center caps back in. Down over here to the passenger side. So there you go. That was how I painted my wheels. I don't think it was very hard. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in doing it yourself, by all means, go for it. I thought it was pretty easy to do. Just took a little bit of prep and uh, a lot of work. But like I said, the final results, it's incredible. They look great. They really do. They look a hell of a lot better than what they did with all that rust and everything on them. So. Alright guys, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And if you want to see more how-to videos, please, by all means, put something down in the, uh, in the comments down below. And if I can do it, well, by all means, I will. So I will talk to you guys soon. And everybody take care. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys all soon. Bye-bye.